Hello, I'm Dr. Aaron Johnson, and today I'm going to talk about the transitional dentition. This is a fancy way of saying what children have when they are changing to their adult teeth from baby teeth. The most common question parents have for me are when do particular teeth come in and will my child need braces? First, I'll address when a particular tooth will come in. There are some general rules when it comes to getting teeth. Girls tend to be ahead of boys. Like baby teeth, the bottom tends to come come in before the top, and, and they tend to, the, uh, the adult teeth to, tend to come in from middle to outside, with the exception of the six-year molars and the maxillary canine, the top canine. Now I'm going to go through this chart of when teeth come in. So just to orient, yourself, uh, orient yourselves, this is the middle, and this is the outside. So instead of drawing each tooth twice, I only drew it once. Um, and this is a, a adult teeth. These numbers uh, correspond to when, what age and years approximately the child can expect to get the tooth. So as you can see, the six-year molars are the first teeth, and then uh, the central incisors to the lateral incisors, and then the canines tend to, uh, the mandibular canine tends to come in and, um, in, in that order, that middle to outside order, but the maxillary eye tooth maxillary canine tends to come in a little bit later and um, all the way out to the third molars which come in uh, mid to late teens. It's important to remember that every child is different and some teeth may be missing. The most commonly missing tooth is the wisdom tooth conveniently enough because then you don't have to pull it. Uh, the second most commonly missing tooth is the top lateral incisor right here. Sometimes they also may be really skinny some people may refer to these as peg laterals. It's not a very PC term, uh, nor is it kind, but I've heard it said that way. The most important thing to remember is that this can be corrected, whether the tooth is missing or whether it's skinny, if, especially if the appearance is bothering the child. Sometimes if the adult tooth is missing, a baby tooth will uh, remain in its place well into adulthood. And I, I oftentimes see that, especially on the bottom in the bicuspid area. If a baby molar is pulled due to decay before the adult tooth comes in, what will happen is that six-year molar will come forward, and that can cause crowding and problems with the eruption of the bicuspids. So what dent a dentist will do is they'll make a space maintainer to hold that, that six-year molar back to, to maintain that space. At around age seven or eight, the top front teeth will spread until the adult canines or eye teeth come in and push them back into place. It's important to have an x-ray done during that time to check and make sure this lateral incisor isn't interfering with the eruption of the eye tooth. Many children will grind their teeth until the adult eye teeth come in. And that's actually a natural and normal part of, of development. But what, what's happening is the child is, is uh, increasing their muscle mass and their jaw, but they're also gaining movement awareness um, or kinesthetic development. But if it continues after the eye, adult eye tooth comes in, that can be a sign of a bruxism or, or some a damaging habit that the child has. This is Dr. Aaron Johnson saying if you have questions about your child's teeth, please see a dentist, preferably me, and keep flossing.